What if I reverse the process all the way back to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? Wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Until you get the universe born from a black hole exploding. Briefly, I was sent the screenplay that Anthony McCartney had written, and I was under the impression it was a biography of Stephen Hawking, which I wasn't particularly interested in doing. So I thought I was probably the wrong person to do this, but I dutifully read or began to read it. It'll have to do. You don't know what's coming. It'll affect everything. And found out it was something completely different, which was a portrait of a relationship, a very un un interesting and unusual relationship. And there was an equality of point of view between both man and woman. So even though Stephen is a public figure and Jane Hawking obviously much less so, in the story, in the script, there was an equality between the two characters in terms of time and space with them that felt intriguing. But I love him and he loves me. We're going to fight this illness together. I, I met with Stephen before we made the film and he gave us his sort of tacit approval. I mean, it's about his personal life. Um, um, so he wasn't, I think, wild about the idea, but didn't object to it. It's called motor neuron disease. Life expectancy is two years. He came to set when we were filming a big extravagant Mayball sequence. And he arrived, it was like a spaceship landing. His, his, his face was lit by this bright screen which he uses to communicate with. And there's four or five people around him. Um, and he came at just the right moment when the fireworks are going off. And then he saw the film. Um, and as a result of that screening, he offered a, the use of his voice. The voice you hear in the film is in fact his voice. And that changed the film in a very mysterious way. There should be no boundary in a human endeavor. However bad life may seem, while there is life, there is hope. My name is Stephen Hawking. You know, the other aspect of the film that's worth mentioning is that, you know, it feels like it might be a gloomy and depressing film about someone in a wheelchair. That's, the wheelchair is just a given, really, and, and Stephen is still alive. There's, a, there's real hope in that, I think.